Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So JP players might have noticed that we recently got some in-game news telling us that version 4.6.0 is on the way. And I gotta say guys, this is a pretty freaking big one. Well, at the very least, there are a lot of good quality of life changes and then one change or one update that really stands out that got me very, very excited when I saw it. So uh, we'll get to that in a second, of course, but let's actually go in order and see what they have in store for us for this update. So first things first, at the very top, we have a new feature that will allow us to basically sell all our Hercule statues in one click. And now I'm not really sure if this is exclusive to Hercule statues or possibly we can sell like R's and SR's as well all at once. Not really sure, but as you can see in the picture, it's showing us that you can sell all your Hercule statues and uh, that's going to save you a lot of time, of course. Uh, super annoying to have to click through all of them, but like I said, same thing with R's, right? Like nobody keeps R's and it's just a super tedious task to like click all of them and then sell them in the Baba shop, right? So hopefully, uh, if not for this update, then in the future they'll update it as well where we can sell all the R's and SR's that we don't want to in one click. Uh, that'd be great. But yeah, good feature right there. And then next up, number two, is a feature that allows us to reverse units in the growth tab as opposed to having to go to the main menu and then uh, choosing reverse and then choosing the unit you want. You can probably, I'm guessing just from your character list or basically anywhere you can access your units, uh, click the growth tab and then reverse them that way. So once again, another feature that will save you a little bit of time, uh, even though it doesn't seem like a big deal, you know, initially like over time it's going to save you a couple seconds here a couple seconds there and uh, those will add up to minutes and hours right maybe i don't know but it does make um the entire experience of playing dokkan a little bit smoother and a little bit more enjoyable i think and number three we have another small quality of life change where uh, we are now able to uh, basically scroll through or swipe through the different tabs in the Baba shop as opposed to having to click on each icon for which treasure you want to spend and buy things for you can now just you know swipe left and right which I it wasn't even something that occurred to me that this wasn't a feature like I didn't even think about the fact that you couldn't do this before but uh, I guess it wasn't a thing before so now you can swipe instead of having to click on each of the icons in the Baba shop and uh, once again another feature that will save you a couple seconds that will add up to quite a bit of time overall right and okay so this one number four is the is actually the biggest one it's actually the most exciting one and there's no image for it they don't really give us any details about it right now but from what i've heard according to goresh on twitter um this is referring to new summoning animation or new summoning animations possibly multiple animations we don't really know right now but uh, i know what everybody's thinking at the moment and that's it's, it's what i thought too Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, right? That animation, that like screen at the very least has been in the game files for over, I wanna say a year, year and a half, something like that. Basically ever since the new animations came out, we have found Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku in the files, right? But there's just nothing that, like he, he wasn't in the game, like he wasn't being used. So does this mean that we're finally getting the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku animation and if so, then what's it going to do? Is it going to be a guaranteed LR? Is it going to be a guaranteed Dokkan Fest? No, guaranteed 2 Dokkan Fest? Guaranteed new... You know what? Here's what I want. I want it to be guaranteed new unit, right? So if, uh, for example, the uh, Int uh, Transforming Gohan, Future Gohan is coming, right? So for the new animation there, if we get the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, not, not saying it's going to be him, by the way, or that animation, I'm just saying, if that animation is coming out, then uh, if we get that animation, then we know we're getting the new Gohan. And for LRs as well, uh, if you're summoning on an LR banner and you get the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken animation, then you know that you got the new LR, not just any LR, right? It's going to be different from the Vegito Blue animation. So where you get, if you get the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, then you know you're getting that new LR or new Dokkan FS unit, and that'll just be the ultimate hype, right? In my opinion, at least. Um, I, I don't know if I made sense there. I was talking a little bit fast. I was a little bit excited, but uh, I'm hyped for this one. I'm definitely, definitely hyped for this one. Uh, hopefully Super Saiyan Blue Kyle can, but if it's multiple animations as well, then I also want to see a family Kamehameha. I want to see the uh, Goku flying in with Goten and Gohan, and then, you know, 
uh, after when you swipe down or you pull down, you release, then they like all come together. You know, like the the login screen that we got for when uh, LR Gohan and Goten was initially released. I want to see that. Basically, just all three of them coming in, doing the Kamehameha, and uh, you get a guaranteed LR or something like that. That'd be pretty cool too. So, I mean, there's a lot of different options, but. That's all I can really think of as far as the ones that I've really wanted for a long time. If you guys have some other suggestions, let me know in the comments down below too, and we can do a little bit of a uh, speculation. Obviously right now, nobody really knows exactly what they have planned, but uh, that's huge, man. New summoning animations is, that's a big thing. And uh, I think the last thing is for Battlefield, where uh, in the Battlefield selection screen, you can actually use the um, tag feature. So if you made like different tags for uh, certain units that you want to use, or whatever uh, i can actually use those tags now for selecting your units as opposed to having to just go through like your entire box and selecting through there so once again another feature that will save you a little bit of time when uh doing battlefield right and i think that might be all i think that is all the previews we have there might be more coming for this update but uh, as far as i can see here in the in-game news that's everything we can expect from 4.6.0 new summoning animations coming guys but also some other very useful quality of life changes that probably won't come to global for like six months or so i mean i hope that global gets it soon but i just don't understand like why bandai insists on holding back on these quality of life changes that really don't make them more money it's really just to make the game more enjoyable and uh global still has to wait so long to get it man but that's a different topic for a different video i've complained about that quite a few times in the past and uh that's not relevant here obviously so uh yeah that's the video <laughs> That's the video for version 4.6.0. Once it comes out, if there's more information, then I'll definitely keep you guys posted in a future video. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.